What's up everybody, I'm MBJ, and welcome back to some more Inscription. Now, it's been a while since I've uploaded, but that's just mostly due to college being a pain. Yeah, uh... You th college finals are a bit intense. But anyway, let's get back into it. Last I checked, I think we left off beating uh, Magnificus and Grimora. Yeah, so we've only got one scribe left. What else did I do? Okay, so we did that. Sorry, I'm trying to remember something, because, like, I... So, yeah, I think all we have left is to beat... Yeah, I think all we have left is to beat PO3. Sorry, I just saw that I have the Headless Horseman in there and then the Ouroboros. So I figured, hey, maybe get a small bit of bones in there. Yeah, actually, in fact, I'm going to go back to the... What are they called again? Is it the Mycologists? Good, close your eyes. Yeah, we know what happens. Here's your prize. Spore digger. I'll take that. And then immediately. That should be good. Did I lag? Figure out why they're so... Okay, so we still gotta go through here. Oh. Okay, so I grabbed these already. Conduit cards. Ah, yes. Exodia. In the form of magic. Actually, do I have one in here? Because...
Hmm. Very busy here. PO3 isn't happy with my output, but I'm merely the inspector. To put better bots on the line, I would need to. Just who are you to be carrying out orders from PO3? PO3 would only trust someone with some semblance of card game skill. I am very busy, but I must know if you are qualified to give me orders. Hey, Bone Lord. Oh dear, your message from PO3 must indeed be genuine. As I mentioned, I am a mere inspector, not an engineer, not a designer. I cannot send new bots down the line, but I can send myself. I am proud to have served PO3 faithfully. Well met, stranger. There was one over here that I never did. Uh, Techno Park Pack. Hmm. And Gamble Bot.
just said let me out. <laughs> what was that? We are... I am the Melter. They send me raw materials, and I... Well, you can see how it works. There was another one. Not another word out of you. We must have a card battle. Somebody is inside of that thing. Factory comment was still overkill damage. Let's not end this just yet. Kinda wanna power up the... Yeah, I kinda wanna power up the Aura Force a bit more. Sorry, my throat is bothering me a little bit. What is a good number to stop at? I would say it would be a good number to stop at 25. Because when you think about it, I've never, I haven't seen a card whose value is stronger than 25. The only thing that would stop this now is be an insta-kill card. Even then, it'd have to be played against it this next turn, which would be unlikely. Alright, well, there's that failsafe in case we need it. Help me. Excellent battle. Now, with that aside, what did you come to tell me? PO3 wishes for better bots for his scanner. That is a that is difficult. You see, I melt the material, melt the metal. But I cannot reprogram the stamping machine. No. But there is a way to send at least one new bot down the line. No, 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 no. Ha ha ha. Yes. For PO3. I 
I feel sorry for what was it, for whatever was inside of it. There we go. These things get harder as they go, and I enjoy the challenge. Mike, I know what you're here for. You're asking me to take a dive. But I can't accommodate you, mate. Got special orders in it. Looking to dress something special. We can do it, eh? Maybe even give you something if you win. But I can't be taking a dive. Feel three will understand.
You know what, mate? You can't take my eyes off of me at work here. I'll give you this one. Well then. You, take your pack. But I do not accept your surrender. But I'm forced to. Now off with ye. I need a con I need a concentrate. Oi! Is that Aether's gonna reward me big for this one? What the Um what? What is this thing? Why is it doing all of that? Can I not take it or something? Uh. I'm gonna pause the recording here. I'll I'll resume it once I see where this is going. Um, so I've been following this all the way back to PO3's room, and uh, well, I I still can't interact with it or anything. But whatever that is, that is not good news. Not good news at all. And it looks like PO3 is just making cards out of everything. So whatever it is, something tells me PO3 is going to use a card that should not exist. Honestly, this just the existence of this thing is actually starting to creep me out. If you were looking for something that special, why would you throw it back away? That just doesn't make sense to me, but anyway, here we go. The bots haven't gotten much better, but you battled all of my workers, and you actually won? Give me that deck again. Wow, you beat them with that? Alright. Hey, I know I'm not the de best deck builder, but I'm pretty sure I built a pretty good deck considering how it's magic. And, from what I understand, that is the hardest of the card types to use. Maybe there's some synergies that I missed. Let's go, then. Uh, you see those conveyor belts? Just like my factory. At the very least, they ought to test your lane positioning. Yeah, that works. Okay, your turn. I don't control a Mox card, though. Mage Fuel requires Mox. Oh, okay, so that's how it works. Not much I can do this round.
I'd rather not give him damage dealing cards. Actually, one damage is not worth him getting an extra card on the field that has more damage. So work. Scanners online. Which card to scan? Just kidding. Obviously the one with the best stats. The stat line could be better. Excuse me? It's 2525. Your move. Yes, and you quite literally just gave me good cards. Not to mention the win. Good game, PO3, but unfortunately for you, I play card games a lot, what can I say? But you're just... Uh, I gotta respect you, man, but at the same time, you're throwing a whole lot of trash talk. I guess playing a perfect game, no match, good RNG. It, well, yeah, that's kind of how card games work. The game doesn't end until the last card is drawn. Team unlock accomplished automation. I guess you won. Your ambition is to become the scribe of magics. That old hack, you ought to reconsider. I don't think I like the way you're talking, PO3. I like magic. And also, I do think Magnificus could use a bit of a break from all that he does. Let him take a rest. It is time, Challenger. Choose the scribe that you will replace. Replace Magnificus and become the scribe of magics? Indeed. I already know I have lost. I have foreseen it. My eye aches once again. Why must my pathetic slime mage always fail? Hey, he's trying his best. But I would be... But would I be so meticulous in my preparedness if my, I myself had tasted power? Alas, I may never know. Show yourself, fiendish machine. Wait, what? Uh, alas, ill fates await us all. Uh, tedious old fool. I don't owe you anything. Now let's play. 
I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be going up against Magnificus. You're supposed to battle the scribe that you picked, but like a powered up version for Nelly. This is going to be different. Uh, yeah, I can tell. You're not the one I picked. Okay, then. Let's see here. We'll open with this. I'll just... You can't just do that. It's not your turn. No. You don't get to do that. You don't get to cheat like that, PO3. That's the ticket. I'm sorry, what? Somebody's cheating, and I do not like it. Oh, great. Now he's breaking the game. Uh, hello, 3D. Uh, okay, actually, what is happening now? Uh, this is actually a little creepy. <laughs> I don't like this. Achievement unlock balance of power. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. Yeah, right. Hi. Hello. Can I help you? You done gawking? We can start? Good. This is Botobia, a once great technological paradise. It's ruled over by four, uh, uberbots, that's right. Hang in there, PO3, I also have trouble with telling stories. And you've gotta go, and you've got to get out there and beat them. Why? To perform the great transcendence, of course. Doesn't matter what that means, you want it, okay? What if I don't want it? Get up? No! We've got transcending to do. I will break out of this if it's the last thing I do, PO3! Okay, fine, you win. What the? I guess we're playing energy now. Which is sad. I liked magic. Botopia used to be safe for travelers. Now rogue bots block all the major roads. <sighs> You're not used to seeing five lanes, are you? Leshy could never pull that off. Like you're any better. This one gives me an energy. Okay, S sorry. I kind of reacted without thinking there. <laughs> but in that case, my instinct kind of played off. Anyway, your move. One damage. So what?
Okay, yeah, I figured, because it let me do that before. Why am I so used to things being random and being able to react? Then we take this right there. Then we get rid of that. And then it does that. And then for the sake of nothingness, we do that. Boom. Bang. How? Huh, two dollars. The best defense? Other bots. You carry a spark that can, uh, reactivate old bots. PO3, you sh seriously should have worked on your storytelling before you did this. Add them to your deck, you know? Then they fight for you. Okay, well that's just useless. Uh, opposing creature place Optus uh, an empty space cub. Uh, no, let's get a. Uh, yeah, no, you you. Let's get a one cost. Hello, what's over here? M money. Is that all? Well, at least now I know there are like hidden arrows. Because, see, it's not there until I hover over it. You'll need more than a few reactivated bots. That is, if you truly wish to enact the Great Transcendence. Bottopia has some of the most OP items just lying around. That will recharge your energy one turn. Pretty good. I mean, I guess... If you're smart, you'll use your items liberally. You'll replenish them at a waypoint, obviously. That is intriguing. Waypoints, huh? There we go. I figured explode bots would work like that. Why am I trying to play empty vessels again? <laughs> I still get more money. No other areas. More cards. You get a random sigil when you're drawn. Shield bot. Protected from damage one time. Uh, I'm gonna go with another double gunner. Because, from what I have learned, attacking multiple times is also useful for dealing damage. The real best way to fight back those rogue bots, modify yours, give them OP abilities. Choose a card from your deck. Uh, let's go with the sniper bot. Let's see. Oh. That... Okay, if it deals damage, automatically dies. It goes back to my hand when killed, though.
Yeah, I think I like it coming back to my hand. Satisfied? You're almost at the waypoint. Don't choke now. Why did I see that coming? Two damage is a price I'm willing to pay, though. Let's get you there, and then you there. Oh, I have a hammer. Okay, well then let's get rid of that and put you there. Then refill and put you there. Dealt damage, swap its power and health. Swap bot. Interesting. So strategically swapping its power and health is key to using that, I guess. And the, I hope I'll be, still be able to put touch of death on the sniper, because then that'll make it overpowered. Hey, more money. You made it to the first waypoint. Cool. Your items are recharged. Bots that you've destroyed in that area will stay that way. If and when you do perish, you'll be brought back here. Huh. So it's a checkpoint. It's an elegant system. Money. Shop? Glorious commerce. Your Robobucks are accepted here. Pick one of your cards. I already know who I'm going to attempt it with. Let me calibrate. No, that one you move. That one you take a hit. That one you avoid taking damage. Mm. I don't know. Actually, well, I've already, I've already put, hmm, when you move into a space opposing, when, oh, when a creature moves into the space opposing this one, though. Eastern Bottopia. Not much of value out this way. But you still got to explore here. You know, for the Great Transcendence. Ah, I knew it. Do I need another sniper bot, though? Yeah, I'll take another sentry drone. Well, that was interesting. Alarm bot. You are in... You are an annoying bot. 
So let me put the sentry drone down there. Instantly downed. star. You've been winning a lot, and now you've got a bounty on your head. It's sure to attract bounty hunters. Interesting. It resets when you die, though. What? I... I can't... Let me guess what you're thinking. Go back to the waypoint, refresh your items, maybe go to the shop. I actually want you to win, but it can't be that easy. You can go back to the waypoint, but all the rogue bots you've cleared in the a this area will respawn. So, you sure? You do realize that just means I can make a ton of money, right? Yeah, and so I'm I'm a I'm a do just that real quick. So I'm a I'm a pause here and come back once I've made enough money. Hello everybody, I am back again. Uh, I have come to realize that that'll probably take a while to be making a ton of money. I mean, I, I got 15 bucks and then bought another upgrade, which I then put on my shield bot, so... Ah, uh, it was a bad move. I should've... Yep, no, that was a bad move. Well then. That works. I forgot about that part, actually. I forgot that because I put Guardian on it, it moves to the empty spaces. Oh yeah, I also encountered a bounty hunter. It was slightly weak, but... I 
I keep putting it in the wrong spot. I gotta remember that that's not where it goes. this one. Or maybe not. Do I look like I care? I don't have enough energy. You hit that. Then you hit this. you, which is really not all that helpful. Then I put you there. make any money on that. Another star on your head. Your bounty is higher. Bounty hunters of a higher caliber may come calling. Well then, that's just not good to know at all. Sector drone and another sniper bot. I'm gonna go with the swap bot just for sake of having something that could be tactically reliable. And I just realized my sniper bot can still be used as a meat shield because of. Why are you electrified and have three? sniper bot on the ground, which takes that out, which kills that, and then there we go. What the? Oh, honey, don't cry. I'm Gear Bear Sky. I'll make it swift. Interesting that you say that, but I'm kind of pretty meh on that. It's all right, darling. Remember the name Gear Bear Sky. I'll be back. Yeah, you see, here's the thing. That was just too easy.
I am not getting much. I am definitely not getting a lot from this. New waypoint. Items 100% charged. Boss spawners 100% offline. And the battery's dead. What do you know? <laughs> Lame. The power is dead on this old thing. I'll let you get up if you go get me a new battery. You're allowed in the inspection room only. Just get me the battery from the inspectometer and come back. Interesting. Oh, what? Uh, ugh, how annoying. The other scribe's junk sometimes glitches in here. Try to ignore it. He says as I'm able to manipulate it. Not oh oh wait no because I've got the wrong hand. Well that's a thing. Oh my god! Wait, what was that old thing? I don't remember what the old thing was, but I do know that there is a way to brute force it. Heh. <laughs> Orobot? Oh my god. More junk. Want it? Uh, let's see. Yes! Imagine if I was able to put split attack on it. That would be so broken! Oh, I left those things turned off? That's fine, just solve some easy puzzles. Okay, I should probably mention the fact that I did hear that there was an ARG for this game. So, because I know... I, I heard that the uh, when you get to this stage, you get clues for the ARG. Contain all squares all squares that contain cards like this right here that that right there is a part a clue for the inscription ARG so is this and this apparently there's like a series of clues in this game Yep, that's it. Bring it over. Fishbot! Hey, it's a fisherman. Found me. Good. Robot fish hide me. Revenge for last time. Bad fish. So you say, Fishbot. So you say. More cards for the deck, at least. Yep, thanks. Now, if only all of our stuff charged this fast. That should do it. Back to the game. There's fast travel. That makes things a lot quicker. That was the slime. That was slime mage. Oh god, wait, what? Oh god. does not belong here.
attack that, it doesn't explode downward, but it does explode to the right and the left. And that destroys this one, allowing this one to get a hit in for one. And this one gets in a hit for two, three, four. There we go. Mrs. Bomb's remote? Sure. Take it. Drops bombs on every empty space. Tactical board wipe. Don't be stupid about it. Oh, I won't. Nothing like having a board nuke on your side. Oh god, what is this? Uh... Nano armor generator. Huh. Eh. Extra battery. Okay, okay. Gem spawn conduit. Interesting. When gem vessels on the other side of the world die, they detonate the creature up. Detonate the creature opposing to the. Okay. So this one's going in the inverse.
card clearly does something. Sorry this is taking so long. This one actually has it has me stumped. I am genuinely stumped about this one. I'm genuinely stumped about that one, but I can't really do anything about it anymore. No, I'll go back to that. Alright, anyway, let us head down. Ugh. This dank, this dank scrapyard is pretty unpleasant. Its inhabitants grasping claws seek fresh bots. Watch your ankles. Hello, what are you? Where are you? When a card bearing the sigil perishes, its owner chooses a creature to gain the nano armor sigil. Okay. Fleshy fish is near. Must find other scribe fish too. Deep beneath. Okay then, okay then. We've got the bomb latcher. Probably not the best move. Well then. I am bait? I mean, I guess you could say something like that.
<laughs> I just noticed the fish bot uses a fish as a weapon. Well, now it's all over for you. <laughs> But why wait? If I put this here... Then I could break that. And then replay it. And... Hold on, someone's trying to knock at my door. Alright, I'm back. Where was I? Oh, yes. If, if I remember correctly, I just made my final move. Bada bing, bada boom. Tons of money. Oh dear, God. Oh. That doesn't look good. <laughs> This is a cool one. I'll overclock one of your cards. Give it an attack buff. But if it dies, it's gone forever. Bad fish. You said it. Ah, uh, you know what? Do I really need two double gunners if I have Aurobot? Actually, no, you know what? I'll put it on Sentry Drone. I'll put it on this other sentry drone. That way, it's not my good sentry drone, but at the same time, it can deal damage outside of doing that, and it's still a one cost. Done. Don't let it die. I could honestly care less if it dies. And I know... Uh, ooh. You want to go back to that waypoint? The bots around here will respawn, you know. Well, you know what? I don't need that. I don't need to go in that direction anymore. Anyway, let's see if we can get something good on Aurobot. Pick one. Okay. Hefty, that just pushes everything. Mighty Leap, that guards against air. Bomb Latch, no. Actually, guarding against air would be... Mm, is it, though... I mean, I can see Hefty being good for it, because it can then move into a block. Really? Alright. Okay, so this goes up by 5 for each one I get. But I can tell the upgrading your cards is really worth it. There's root. Oh, wait, did I go up here? Yeah, I did. I just realized I could have fast traveled, but eh. Uh, that actually is about all the time I have for this episode, everybody. Uh, so if you liked it, please consider leaving a like, and maybe if you want to see more of my videos, consider subscribing. Anyway, I'm MBJ, gaming is my life. And I will see you back in the next episode of Inscription, or whenever the next video comes out. See ya!